All right, we're here at gotomath.com. We are working some calculus, and we're under the uh, numerical section here on evaluating limits numerically. And this is the actual section here, so I'm going to click this and get number three to come up. Oh, I almost clicked it three times there. All right, so this is the problem we're looking at here. We're going to evaluate the uh, limit numerically, so if you've worked any of the other problems, the other two problems on that button there, um, in this section I should call it, uh, you should probably already know a little bit of what's going on. All right, and uh, let's head over to the whiteboard. We were given the limit as x approaches 8 of 7x quantity squared minus 1 over 1 minus 7x. And we're asked to find out what this limit is, and we're doing it numerically. And I'm going to go ahead and write f of x is equal to 7x quantity squared minus 1 over 1 minus 7x. All right. And um, if you haven't worked any of the other problems in the, on this particular section, section 1 here, you need to click and look at 1-1 and 1-2. Um, anyway, okay, so here's our f of x. Now, this thing could actually be rewritten as the limit as x approaches 8 of f of x. Okay, so that means basically take that and put it in here, and this is what we're doing. Now, where it's really interesting is, is if we had a 1 7th right here. If we were approaching 1 7th, but we're not, we're approaching 8. Now, what I want to do here is, is actually draw a picture. And that means that I've got to figure out how to sketch a graph. And I think the difficult part is just drawing a straight line. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and factor this guy. And let's just do that. F of x. This is going to be really important in the next section. So what we have is a difference of squares in the top. So that's the reason I'm kind of getting started doing that now. Because that whole factoring thing is pretty important in uh, this first part of calculus. And then this guy right here, when I'm going to do something fancy right here, and that is I'm going to factor a negative out. Okay, I'm going to factor out a negative. And so I can rewrite this as 7x minus 1. All right, so I skipped a step or two, but if you multiply this negative back in, you'd see you'd get a, you would end up uh, getting a negative 7x and then a plus 1, and I just kind of reordered them there. But uh, as you can see here, We'll use a light green color. As you can see, we've got a term in the top and a term in the bottom that can actually be canceled out. However, we have to state something in the domain, and that is that the, that x cannot equal um, that x cannot because this f and that f will end up being two different f's. But if we stated it, and I don't think I mentioned this in the other two problems of this section, but we must state that uh, if I rewrite this as f of x is equal to, I'm going to take this negative and just bring it out front here, and then we'll just leave it like that. But uh, this f and this f are two different f's, but if I actually state this over here that x cannot equal, in the domain, x cannot equal um, 1 7th. Now, 1 7th is, is because if I plugged 1 7th in down here, we'd end up getting 0, okay, which means that you can't divide by 0. So we have to state this. Now we can say that this f and that f are actually both the same f's as long as we state that x cannot equal 1 7th, okay, that's really important. All right, now, second thing is, is let's graph this. So basically what we're doing here is, is we are graphing this guy right here. Okay, so we can graph this, and uh, and and that's basically what our graph's going to be. Now, the uh, I guess I should go ahead and um, negative seven x minus one. Uh, 
so we have a negative slope we have it crosses at negative one which is down here and so this thing is going to be doing I don't know it's going to be doing uh, something like this okay that's not quite a straight line but anyway it's doing something like this and if we stated that this was one seventh here we know that there's going to be a hole in the graph right here there's going to be a hole in the graph for a missing point now I know that the number here that we're actually supposed to be focusing on is 8 which I'm going to put 8 right here even though this is not going to be to scale and so we're looking at you know this guy right here which I've actually kind of run out of room this has really been bad planning and uh, and you really need to watch the other two uh, videos uh, in this section here um, it's going to help out so remember what the limit is like I said watch the other two videos <laughs> remember what the limit is we are approaching 8 from the left hand side and that is that is what we're doing here when we do this numerically we're taking actually our original here okay and okay I'm end up using a different color but uh, we're taking 8 and we're going to subtract off for example 0.1 and that actually is f of what 7.9 and we're taking 7.9 and we're plugging it in up here and getting some number out okay and what's happening here is, is we're gonna do this and get and get closer and closer to 8 coming in from the left hand side so it's 7.99 and we're going to come in and get closer and closer and we're going to look at these numbers as we do this and of course it's going to end up getting closer and closer to um, let's see sometimes it's 56 57 negative 57 I think I'm cheating here but anyway and then what we want to do let's say we did that several times and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come in from the right hand side so we're going to say 8 plus 0.1 which is actually right f of 8.1 okay and then we get that number and then we start getting closer and closer and of course you know you just have to do this a couple, a couple times to find out what this actually is and so we end up with 8.01 so as you can see so we take this 8.01 we plug it in we get a number out and then we just kind of look at these numbers and we can kind of tell what they're gravitating or they're converging towards right what they're converging towards right here okay so that's all the limit is is the number that we're looking for as x approaches 8 we say we just plug in a number to the right and then we just get closer and closer and closer towards it and then do one from the left get closer and closer and closer and then see what uh, see what both of these guys should be converging towards the same number and if they're not well this limit doesn't exist okay now let's head over to the web page um, and let's look at the help section here and you can see here what's going on so we plugged in um, I think I did say 57 didn't I as we plug in as you can see here 8 minus 0.1 we're coming in from the left so it's like 7.9 right and then 7.99 7.999 so as you can see 56.3 56.9 56.99 and uh, you can kind of tell it's heading towards negative um, negative 57 now we're coming in from the right hand side as you can see so you see you look at both of these numbers here this number here and this one here and you can see that they're getting closer and closer to uh, to that all right so um, anyway you should watch the other two in this section and I kind of add a few little thing or here to uh, different you know take a different angle at it but anyway there's nothing to it all right nothing nothing to it okay so we're at gotomath.com looking at limits and a numerical approach for finding the uh, the limit and we're in that section obviously it's highlighted see you there bye